Hey everyone, welcome back to Space Lizard Exotics. I am super stoked to be here doing this video with you amazing, wonderful humans today. We're going to be feeding Marduk, my Emerald Tree Boa. Always a fun, exciting time. Last time didn't work out as well as we normally. Uh, it definitely ate finally, but he ate a hit leaf. So if you do keep up with social media, go check it out. But we got to go get the feeder rat down at my favorite pet store. See you all in un momento. So we're taking a trip to my favorite pet store. We're gonna be picking up a nice little wean rat for Marduk because, well, we gotta feed the little beast, so let's get cracking. Just left the pet store, got this little wean rat here. We're gonna feed this to Marduk. It's a beautiful day in Colorado. Just enjoying this great day, taking a cruise. Hope everyone's doing rad. Taking some fresh air, awesome. Love doing that too, especially on nice cool days like this. We're almost in our actual, like, spring season um right now it's still cold on certain days hence the thick little jacket almost back to the wonderful little abode of reptiles and we're gonna feed marduk so stay tuned and let's get all right so last time if you did see the last video on social media we were trying to feed marduk things didn't go exactly as planned we were trying to feed marduk he struck at the rat hit a leaf and just wrapped up the leaf. He thought it was the coolest thing ever. It's actually really funny. If you get a chance, check it out. It is on our Instagram channel. Let's actually feed him so you guys can all check that out. Super rap. Now, he was up and about earlier, super like in strike position. I was kind of fucking around in the enclosure and he's definitely ready to eat. Just for preventative measures and me having to clean this up even more, I'm just getting the water dish out. The reason why, gives him more of a area to strike at the live rat things like that now just keep in mind this is a live feeding video if this does bother you good time to tune out if this doesn't bother you well let's watch an emerald tree boa get his meal in today live feeder so he definitely knows the scent of it when i do get live feeders i always open it up just like this this is kind of crazy check this out shake it right in front of his nose just like that he knows exactly what that is by just scent alone Get his attention a little bit. Come on. Yep. Yeah. See it? Yep. Yeah. Oh. So now he's like, he's interested. He's like, that's food. That is food time. He's about to grub down. So let's get this kind of show on the road. Come on. Come on. Oh. Come on. All right. Ready? We're going to dump this rat. Bam. And let's see Marduk get his grub on. Now these, fangs do, these, these snakes do have the longest fangs out of any non-venomous snake. No, you've probably heard me say that many times, especially discussing these types of snakes, but that helps them grab their prey item and wrap them up and hold them tightly. They are constrictors and they do eat things like, you know, small rodents, very small birds in the wild, helps them hold their prey. Birds aren't found as much um, when they have, you know, seen what is inside their stomachs in the wild, but they have seen a lot of small rodents and prey items like that, that they just snatch right from the ground, them hanging above in the canopy, super cool. And as you could see, Constrictor constricts the prey right away. Got that rat, that was gnarly. Oh my gosh, and look at that. So I don't, don't wanna disrupt him that much, but that is gnarly, right? How they just grab their prey, they constrict it right away, wait for that exact moment and just bam, right away. Insane, <clears throat> super amazing snakes. Spectacular to watch them just do their thing. They're amazing apex predators. Super cool holding it with those very very long fangs making sure it can't go anywhere and trust me that grip is no joke So let's get a couple more shots of Marduk doing his thing and we're gonna let him grab down on his meal
Now, if you didn't notice when it did, kind of was had it in the rat in its grasp, it kind of released it, was readjusting, was about to actually like get a drink of water, I took a water dish out. Usually when the water is in there, if it doesn't just like completely just start like dripping blood inside the water dish, he'll get a drink of water. I usually take it out, try to at least, because oftentimes it's just blood just goes in the water, like, oh shit. Good thing about that is it is easy to clean, but usually just take it out and check this out. The last and final steps of the wean rat, Marduk just taking it down. Gnarly, oh my gosh, that is so rad. Wean rat, perfect size, especially uh, for his size of, uh, he is now, this is a perfect size rat for him. Easy to take down, manageable, seems to have no issues with it. And obviously he's a very good eater. And he took that down like a champ, super rad.